Hey everyone, this is Rokas, aka the Martial Arts Journey Guy, uh, aka the ex Aikido Guy. For those who do not know me, I have been doing Aikido for about 14 years until I decided that it sucks. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm sorry, I mean, it doesn't work. And I moved on to MMA, and this is a fight, my first MMA amateur fight that I had after a six month intensive MMA course. Uh, against another guy who had the same and yeah this is the first time i'm releasing quality footage of it although it happened in april i believe like a few months ago but it's the first time i have my hands on quality footage plus i'm adding the commentary uh, so i hope you guys will and girls will like it yeah, so let's move on to the fight so there you go you see my opponent here on the right i am here on the left um i really wanted to go for a straight knockout so i really went for it uh, here you can see a combination of punches this is a better angle i feel i caught him quite well all right and he goes for kind of a clench like really low i'm upset that i didn't actually knee him or uh, you know uppercut him but you know I, you live you learn and then i decided to go for it again and bam i i think i rocked him there quite well he won on the knee uh, again a better angle here and I think I even woke him up again, but he was doing a good job, he was bouncing back. Uh, he got me here next to the cage, but I moved away from the fence, and I think he went for a takedown. I did a, obviously a sprawl. This is the moment where I re remember there are knees in this game. I usually don't throw much knees, so uh, I really rely a lot on the jab. As you can see, the jab keeps happening. Uh, one of the critiques I got is that my combinations were in, uh, I didn't do like a lot of different combinations. And that is true. I went mainly for a one, two, sometimes a three. Uh, so yeah, uh, some slips here in between. Uh, but again, I really wanted to go for that quick knockout, which is, I feel, my mistake. I shouldn't have done that, so I really exhausted myself. And here I'm already realizing, okay, he's not gonna go down easy. And my MMA coach said that probably uh, I will, that I will definitely win on the ground. So that's what I'm planning to go for, for a takedown. And uh, again, keep bouncing back and forth. Uh, my kicks suck, I know, I need to work on them. But, you know, I also had heavy shin pads, uh, sparring gloves, so it was difficult to do damage. And I didn't feel like my kick like, like, would do damage, so I just used them more as a, more as a, as a decoy rather than, you know, power thing. Again, I, I throw in some pretty good shots, I think. You know, I connect quite a bit, although I was upset that he's not going down. And I think this is pretty much where we'll go for, I'm searching for that moment to go for the double leg. And there you go, there's the double leg. And bam, this is one of my main mistakes that I did. My second made biggest mistake, uh, besides wanting to have a quick knockout. I forgot, I literally forgot that I actually can stay there. I have the dominant upper position. Uh, and I was so fixed on passing the guard. I, I could have definitely just stayed there, you know, postured up and just throw some punches but I really was focusing on passing the guard. And I also was used to doing it from through the left and the cage was there and the shin guards were there and just it just didn't work out and I lost it. I got really upset. I'm sitting here being upset. I'm realizing, okay, I'm not gonna take my back. I'm defending against him and there, he took the dominant position, the upper position and started throwing some punches and I was like, damn, that's what I was supposed to do. And, um, and it really, I, I tried to go for a submission, I tried to make some distance, but as soon as I realized time is short, uh, the round was soon to finish, uh, and it was just not a good thing for me, I pulled him in and uh, just uh, spent the time, um, yeah, spent the time until the round will end. And this is gonna happen pretty much soon. Uh, clearly we're both tired. Again, I think I, it's, I, I used way too much energy. And here we cut to the second round, which was officially supposed to be the, the last round, uh, unless there's a split decision coming, and we will go for the, to the third round. But anyway, let's start with the second one. I, I felt, again, a bit discouraged. I mean, I, I failed in my jiu-jitsu, and uh, oh yeah, I connect there again. But I feel like, okay, probably with these gloves and with my punches, I won't knock him out. Um, a lot of people who watch this fight said the guy has a really good jaw. Like, like he just doesn't go down easily. And I feel that was true, but, but props uh, to him for that. But again, uh, my coach just suggested to do a kick and then uh, kind of as a, use, it, use it as decoy and then just keep on adding combinations with strikes. I wasn't planning to go on the ground anymore because I feel I failed. Looks like he went for a takedown attempt there. Uh, he did. I feel he did much better with head movement than I did. Uh, I, I just he connected a few shots, and I was like, this doesn't feel that bad. And I honestly, I did a mistake of 
not avoiding his punches that much. Uh, and I, I definitely feel it's a mistake that I did. So again, I try to do what my coaches said, kick and then lay uh, for a few punches. Uh, I was really tired and, and started to feel dizzy. The light started feeling bright. Uh, I, I did get punched in the nose, so I was swallowing a lot of blood, which I later puked out. Uh, but here, again, we're both exhausted. I'm giving my, my best because I didn't expect the third round to happen or I wasn't sure if it's going to happen. And I just kept trying to do what, what my coach said. I'm trying to circle away. Again, I didn't have any confidence in my kicks. I, oh, there. Oh, jab, jab. Again, I love the jab. And so I, I kept just stepping in, punching him with those. I was just upset that he's not going down. And the, t the technique seems to have worked. Like every time I would kick, he would look down and then I would punch him. There you go, I connect again. Oh, he got me well on this one. And it was also interesting to see. I feel in the beginning he was discouraged, but every time he would connect with me, I feel I, I would see it in his eyes. He was just like, he would feel like, oh, actually, I can do this. Again, not a lot of force behind the punches. It's, we're both really tired, thinking that this is the last round. Uh, and uh, I might have had a concussion. This is, this is obviously a mistake. I, I turned my back and moved away in this kind of silly way, but you know, shit happens. And uh, again, I, I know now I know my time is running out, so I don't know if I will do the last effort. It, also, too, my, my coaches said it was just so loud, and it was super loud. They say it was the fight of the night, so I couldn't hear what my coaches said whatsoever until I went to the corner. And damn, okay, that was an exchange. So some people who watched uh, the second round said, I mean, the, this fight said the second round was close, and I totally agree with that. Uh, the first one probably was, was more or less close because of my failed uh, guard pass. And this is the last and final round where we're both in completely exhausted and just pushing on, doing our best to just exert the maximum last effort. And again, I'm just basically throwing one twos, which obviously I need to improve. I should add some more body shots. Again, I connect, I connect. Uh, he's just not going down. <laughs> uh, a lot of people can commented on my uh, huge thighs and said that if I would really work on those kicks, that they would become monster kicks. And I'm working on kicks. I'm adding head kicks here and there as I train, but uh, it's not my main game. I really love striking. A lot of people ask me like, what's what's my focus? And uh, and uh, a lot of it is on striking. I do a lot of jiu-jitsu, but but I just love the striking aspect. Anyway, uh, so as we're looking here at the fight again, a few more things to notice besides us being completely tired and just doing our best not to peep our guts out. Uh, I heard my coaches saying, move your head, move your head. And then I, when I heard, I was like, oh yeah, I should. And I started moving my head. I, I slipped a few punches and I was like, damn, this stuff actually works. <laughs> uh, I think that was just way at the very end. I think we're coming close to that moment. And uh, yeah, it's kind of an equal fight, I guess, when I look back at it. Uh, uh, and really props to my opponent. Oh, there, I went for a failed uh, takedown attempt. Uh, props for my opponent because, you know, he, he was pushing it, I was pushing it. We both didn't give up. We both didn't stop until the very end. So I have a lot of respect for him for that. Uh, and yeah, but just coming back to the last point, uh, moving that ahead, I feel I did fail at moving my head enough so <laughs> those light barely damaged in punches uh, but yeah I wish I would have done that more he was really throwing a lot of those kind of a haymaker hooks and I, sh I could have avoided them and avoided so much damage if I could have moved my head more but yeah again you know you live you learn and so as the round comes to an end um, Again, I said, I said I'm super exhausted. I was puking for the next 20 hours, potentially either from the blood that I was in my in my stomach, or maybe I did get concussed, or maybe it's the altitude of Montana. Oh, I tried to go for the back here, but yeah, I was just completely exhausted. I, I gave my all, and uh, <laughs> look, the referee here is trying to fire us up, I guess. Anyway, uh, but yeah. Uh, Oh, that was not a smart idea of me. Yeah, again, props to my opponent for pushing it to the end.
and I think that was, those were the last few seconds, so we went to kind of a brawl. And as if you have seen the fight, you probably know it was a split decision, and I have lost. It is what it is, I lost my first fight, uh, but uh, I'm preparing ready for the next one, I'll let you know about that soon in another video, but basically, yeah, this is the fight. It is the first amateur fight, so it can be as good as it can be. Uh, I definitely learned a lot of mistakes. Uh, I feel so much information was passed on to me by just being in the cage and, and making those mistakes and being conscious of those mistakes. It's definitely a, a very important experience in my life. And whatever I, mistakes I did here, I will do my best to fix them in the next fight. And yeah, we just need to keep on going. So I, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. I hope you enjoyed the fight, some quality footage. And uh, I'll stop here, and I will see you on the virtual mat again soon. Hey, yes, and until then, keep owning your own journey.